developing new details about a deadly avalanche at Palisades Tahoe this morning. Authorities tell us that one person died and another is hurt. And right now, the Olympic Valley Fire Department and Placer County Sheriff's Office are giving an update. So let's go ahead and take you live out there right Earlier now. Earlier today, we responded to Palisades Tahoe for the report of an avalanche. As we arrived on scene, our Tahoe Nordic search and rescue team responded also, but at that point in time, Palisades had a large amount of rescue individuals up on the mountain. At this point in time, from the sheriff's office, we are able to confirm that one male has passed away as a result of the avalanche. We are not releasing any other information about that individual at this time so that our coroner's office can conclude their investigation and make all proper notifications. There was also another individual that uh, sustained minor non-life threatening injuries as a result of the avalanche. At this point in time, all search efforts have concluded and we have come to the conclusion, which I'll let Palisades and Olympic Valley talk to more, that there is nobody else up on the mountain as a result of the avalanche. At that time, I will pass it over to, or at this time, I'll pass it over to Chief Chisholm from Olymp Olympic Valley. <clears throat> Uh, good afternoon. Um, my name is Brad Chisholm. I serve as the fire chief here in Olympic Valley. I'll just give you a brief recap of the involvement that the emergency services had. Um, at about 10 o'clock this morning, we responded to a report of a lower leg injury at the Palisades Tahoe Medical Clinic. Um, shortly thereafter, my office started getting word of a potential avalanche at Palisades Tahoe. Uh, I responded up here and started an incident um, with our dispatch and began uh, but pooling resources in anticipation of maybe a worst case scenario, reached out to our allied agencies, um, primarily North Tahoe Fire and Truckee Fire, and they uh, sent some grand ambulances right away. Um, when I got up here, I was able to get through to uh, Palisades Ski Patrol. Um, obviously, they were very busy, but they were able to give me an update. At that time, they just mentioned the two subjects that were previously mentioned. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, it didn't expand much beyond that. Uh, following that, uh, we entered into a unified command with uh, myself and uh, um, Placer County Sheriff and Palisades Tahoe uh, and began the, uh, the command portion of the incident. Um, as mentioned, the majority of the incident happened up on the hill and was uh, managed by Palisades Tahoe and emergency services just did the uh, overhead portion of it. Uh, with that, I will send it back here and you can introduce uh, the Palisades members. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Dee Byrne, President and COO of the resort. Uh, this is a very sad day for my, for my team and, and uh, everyone here. Um, uh, this is a dynamic situation. We're still undergoing an investigation. Uh, we have a lot, lot to learn yet, and we'll be working with our agencies, our partners, and, and providing that information, those updates as we learn more. Um, so I appreciate your patience um, as we work through this. Appreciate the support that you provide to our community, to one another, and uh, we're going to be continuing to do that as well. You know, the first thing that we do in a circumstance like this is really take care of our people. And so our guests and uh, certainly our team members, our employees, and also our community. So that's first and foremost on my mind. Um, our hearts are out to the and condolences to the, to the victim, to victim's family, and certainly to everybody else involved in the incident. So. That's, that's all I have to share at this time. Again, we'll be sharing more as we learn and confirm the facts. Thank you. At this time, we'll open it up for a few questions. For the person who was killed in the avalanche, was that person an employee here at the resort or a guest? Uh, how you doing? Uh, good afternoon. Michael Gross, I'm the Vice President of Mountain Operations. Uh, the person was a guest. Person was a guest. Correct. Do you know if they were someone who was local or someone visiting from outside the area? They were outside the area. As for the person who was injured, were they also a guest or a staff member? Uh, they were a guest as well, outside the area. I know that. Is there anything you can tell us specifically about K-22? I know we heard that it might have just opened today, but specifically, have there been avalanche mitigation efforts in that location? So KT-22 opened today for the first day of the season. Uh, we've had ski patrol up there doing avalanche control assessment since Sunday. So for the past few days, they've been up there uh, doing control work, evaluating weather conditions, um, setting up all the safety markings, hazard markings, et cetera, to get it prepared for today's opening. 
is that typical to open it on a day when we're seeing such um, heavy snow? Absolutely. Um, you know, we'll evaluate the conditions, and based on our expertise and our experience and the history, um, if we deem conditions safe, then we will open them. Open the terrain. And what does avalanche mitigation look like? I know you kind of touched on it already. But... Uh, it's a variety of stuff. It starts with uh, forecasting, looking at weather data. Um, you know, we've got decades worth of weather data that we're always uh, resourcing or referencing. It's looking at current forecasts. It's looking at all different models. It's looking at wind speed, snowpack, density wind direction, there's a variety of things that go into play. And uh, the people that are doing the work are, are truly experts in their field. Uh, most of them have been working in it for 10 to 20 years, some of them uh, upwards of 50 years, um, just doing forecasting. At what point today was KT-22 deemed safe for skiers? We opened the lift at 9 o'clock this morning. Hey, Michael, how deep were people buried? Small as that. Uh, you know, I'm not sure of the, the actual depth. I'm not sure. Okay, thank you. Was there anyone else who was caught in the avalanche but wasn't injured, but someone who, who had been impacted? Uh, there were two other people that were caught in the slide, um, and they were uh, both, um, one of them was, uh, I think, uh, extracted by her partner, um, and the other one was assisted by some other guests. Can you clarify how many people in total were injured again? Uh, there were two people that were caught and two people that were buried. And of those two people buried one. That is correct. At this time, that concludes our press conference. Once again, as stated, our thoughts and condolences go out to the families affected by this avalanche. Please stay tuned to our social media sites, both with Palisades, Olympia Valley, and Placid County Sheriff's Office for further updates as the investigation continues. Thank you. All right, so you were just listening to the press conference in Tahoe about the avalanche that just happened this morning at the Palisades Ski Resort. It happened about 930 this morning at the area of GS Bowl area of KT-22, which just opened today for the first of the ski season. And fire crews say that they were responding to a leg injury when they got word of the avalanche at the resort. And we know that one person was killed. There was also another person who was hurt and two other people were caught in the slide, but thankfully they were able to get out of there. Now, several different agencies responded, including Olympic Valley Fire, Placer County Sheriff's Office, and then Tahoe Nordic Search and Rescue. And at this hour, no one else is missing. And I also want to note that the mountain will be closed for the rest of the day. Again, the mountain will be closed for the rest of the day. Of course, our team is working to gather more information and bring you the latest updates. We'll have some more coming up at 430, but I want to get over to meteorologist Carly Gomez right now, because Carly, can you give us some perspective about what conditions are like out there right now. Yeah, so over the last seven days, we've seen as much as 21 inches at Palisades Tahoe, according to their website and their snow reports, and they do update these, and this is pretty much consistent with all the other places, from Boreal here to Sierra Snow Lab, uh, 25 inches, Sugar Bowl, Heavenly, 15, 14 at Kirkwood, 21 at Palisades Tahoe. Now, when we talk about the avalanche that was in place today, I've checked on all of our observations in terms of wind gusts and what could have happened at that specific time. We were seeing some gusts anywhere from 58 to 90 miles per hour but that's just kind of the uh, bare minimum for some of those peaks there we've seen them much higher at different points in time and as they were mentioning there that forecast that was happening for all of that to play a part into opening that side of the mountain there was no avalanche warnings in place no blizzard warnings yes we get strong wind gusts and falling snow and that is pretty typical this time of year peak wind gusts today even up high Truckee, 35 mile per hour wind gusts 53 so far at south lake tahoe we do get higher peaks especially where we do see those ski resorts so some of the peaks could even max out 80 usually do about 150 160 is not off to see them that high in the